another week in the books and uh pretty happy with the way this week went um the weight loss is going really well i'm down 30 pounds since i started a keto diet at the beginning of november uh, my body fat's down like eight or nine percent so i'm happy with the way that's progressing um i made a little bit of an adjustment i have like one cheat meal a week usually lunch on saturdays and uh I usually have something that I've been craving. So like this week I've had, I had a burger and fries and onion rings, <laughs> trying to cover all the bases as far as the carbs I can't have, like bread and potatoes and pasta. So I got two to the three, the bread and the potatoes. And yeah, it's, it helps me curb my cravings during the week. So I don't think about them. I can just eat like I'm supposed to eat. And yeah, my, my weight loss is still progressing. I've lost five pounds this week. So, yeah, I think that's working so far. Uh, training went well. Um, I kind of felt a little bit something in my wrist earlier in the week, but it didn't really affect my bench like I thought it would. Uh, squats moved pretty well. Uh, moved up. I did pause squats again this week without my knee sleeves and without lifters. So, just helped trying to, and without my belt. So, totally raw. And I think it's helped my core strength and uh, helped me really concentrate on my form. So I'm thinking I'm gonna keep doing that until it gets to a weight that I can't, maybe I can't handle. But this week wasn't nothing like that. And you know, Dallas moved pretty well. So training's going well. I think taking that step back after losing this weight is gonna help. Uh, we'll see how it pays off on the platform. And at the end of January, I, uh, I don't expect to set any PRs at this one. Probably weight PRs as far as body weight so yeah we'll see just really doing it just for fun and uh just want to get on the platform again i really enjoy competing i really enjoy being out there it's fun uh i feel like it's a really safe way to test my maxes but it's a really safe way to test my maxes and yeah and plus the drilling is really flowing watching everybody else compete and getting pumped up so i'm looking forward to competing again in january so that'll be fun and uh yeah overall things are going well uh, my beard's coming in uh, pretty good. Uh, it's a little scraggly, it's a little uneven. I'm so tempted to trim it, but yeah, I'm trying to wait until at least the beginning of January before I do that. So we'll see how it looks through the holidays and uh, maybe a little trim with the straight hairs and everything and just keep grinding and see how it goes. Uh, I'm getting myself to April. We'll see how it looks and then we'll go from there. So yeah, let's get to the training. So as always, start off the week with uh, deadlifts. This was 350 for six sets of two. Uh, moved pretty well. Um, happy with the tightness and the speed. Um, I'm really been concentrating on trying to get the slack out of the bar. So yeah, I was happy with that. Then uh, the volume squats. This was 325 for three sets of eight. Uh, again, happy with the way these moved. Uh, the fatigue is real with these, especially when I get like anything over five. But I'm happy with uh, overall how they went. So yeah, squats uh, are, are getting back to where I like them to be. Uh, it's something that was the lift that went up the fastest as far as my strength, and I'm still trying to catch up as far as bench and deadlift, especially on deadlifts. But this volume on squats is just Woo, it's, it's, it's a killer. But yeah, overall, happy with those. And uh, this is when I first noticed my wrist was kind of bothering me a little bit. Because usually I don't wear wrist wraps when I'm doing 230. This was uh, 5 to 5 at 230 or 235. And, but my wrist was bothering me a little bit. And I uh, kind of had a grind through a little, uh, had a grind a little bit. Uh, this is my main bench day. Uh, this was 270. I did eight, 10 sets of two. And again, my wrist was burning a little bit. Once I unracked it, I was fine. It was just the racking and unracking of the bar that bothered me. This is my back offset. I did 225 uh, for three sets of eight. And nothing crazy. Uh, again, I wore my wrist wraps just because my wrist, my left wrist was bothering me a little bit. And yeah, I'm happy with overall the way that stuff moved. And then uh, paw squats and Again, no belt, no knee sleeves, and with my flats, and I'm happy. Uh, this was 335 
for a set of five. And doing these without any equipment helps me concentrate on form and making sure I'm staying consistent and hitting all my cues as far as staying, keep my chest up, knees, squeeze, all that stuff. So yeah, I'm liking and incorporating the pause with the, with the raw. I think it's going to help in my training and it really pay off in the end, um, in the future when it comes to squats, especially, and probably deadlifts as well. And then this is my main uh, squat day, uh, six of two at 390. And yeah, it's happy. These didn't move quite as fast as I would like. Again, um, since I've lost this weight, I think my top end strength quite isn't quite there, but it's, it's, it's I think it's coming back. And then I uh, did some Sith Leopard deadlifts. Uh, this was nothing too crazy. I think it was 215, 220. And no, this was two, two, yeah, 215, 220. And uh, three sets of eight. Just, I got a little bit of a bend in my knee. Still working on my mobility, but yeah, I, I think these are paying off on deadlifts as well, getting staying tight. And then I uh, finished off with bench. This, of course, you know, third bench session of the week. And these were feeling good. Um, my wrist didn't hurt quite as much as it had been. Yeah, it was overall it's a good week of training. And uh, yeah, let's hit it again next week. Peace.